So, welcome sa session 2 mga katropa. So, ayan, natuto na tayo kung ano alam natin so far regarding the virus. Ngayon, matututo tayo paano maiwasan ito. Kaya stay tuned. Now in the medical field, meron kami tinatawag na chain of infection. Malamang in some point, narinig nyo na ito. Pero every time na merong nakahawang sakit, we can always go back in order to know. So the chain of infection is made up of six chains. Ano namin? Okay. The first chain being the agent or yung tinatawag nating mga germs. It's uh, uh, pwede ito maging bacteria, virus, or parasite. Whatever causes a person to get sick. Kulang pera! Well, whatever causes a person to get infected. Yeah, better. Next is the reservoir. It is also known as the su a supply or a source of something. It is where the germs lives. Kaya po, ang isang dam, it is made. Kaya para po kapag time ng tagpulot at wala po kulan, meron pong continuous na supply ng tubig. It can supply water to the people. Okay? So, what are the different reservoirs? First of all, people. Next is animals or pets. Wild animals, food, soil, water, or infected surfaces, especially the things that has most contact with our animals. Okay? First of all, our doorknobs. Doorknobs, walls, grocery baskets, ATM machines, okay, pag po pinitindot natin, handles, handles man ng pintuan yan, ng public transport, or mga handles ng sasakyan natin, or even steering wheel, lahat po nang pwede natin mahawakan, grocery items, table tops, and even money, okay? Yet, those can be infected surfaces, okay? According to WHO, or WHO, the most important thing to know about coronavirus in surfaces is that they can easily be cleaned with common household disinfectants that will kill the virus. Kaya po dun sa the next video na gagawin natin, sa third video, sasabihin po natin paano natin may iwasan or ano yung mga common household disinfectants na pwede natin gamitin to kill the virus. Okay? Studies have shown that COVID-19 virus can survive up to 72 hours on the plastic and stainless surface, less than 4 hours on copper, and less than 24 hours on cardboard. The third chain is the portal of exit. Here is where germs comes out. Saan ba lumalabas ang germs? Usually, where they go out is the same thing where they can come in. Okay? First of all, ang ating bunganga or mouth. Mouth, when we vomit or kapag tumalsik po yung laway natin, it becomes a portal of exit. Okay, nose is when we sneeze. Okay? Cuts, kapag po nasugatan tayo, lumalabas ang dugo. Okay? Skin pores, lumalabas po ang pawis and eyes, lumalabas po ang luha. Okay? And during diapering or toileting, lumalabas po ang stool at urine. Okay? But the most common types of uh, portal of exit is the mouth and the cut or yung kapag po nagtotoyleting, nagtotoylet tayo. Fourth chain is the mode of transmission. It is where germs gets around. So parang kung gusto nating mag-deliver ng gulay bagyo to Tarlac City, kailangan mayroon tayong sasakyan. Ang gulay bagyo is our agent. Okay, sample lang to ah. Our gulay bagyo is our agent. Kasi, tignan natin dun eh. Okay, reservoir is Baguio City. Kasi dun lang natin siya pwedeng pagkuhanan. Now, the portal of exit is Enplex, okay? Mas mabilis kasi yan. Okay, pero kailangan mo ng sasakyan, which is the mode of transportation. Hindi mo pwedeng dalhin ang gulay bagyo dito sa lock kung wala kang sasakyan, okay? How will it get around? Airborne are particles that contaminates the air that once inhaled can cause infection to that person. Ang sample po na sakit para dito are measles. Measles are airborne. Kapag po merong isang tao sa isang kwarto na merong measles and pumasok sa kwarto mo yung possible na magmahawaan ka ng sakit. Note that COVID-19 is not an airborne disease. Those who are recommended to wear an N95 mask and the full battle gear mula ulo hanggang paa are the hospital staffs. Particularly those who are doing procedures like intubation. Bakit? Pag po kasi tinubuan nila, it will become aerosolized. So, magiging airborne po yung sakit. Okay? Kaya po kailangan nila yung mga ganung battle gear. While droplets, okay, droplets, ito po yung mode of transmission ni COVID ngayon. 
Okay, is when you speak, okay? Pag tumatawag sa ilaway mo, when you sneeze and when you cough. Okay? So those are droplets. So kapag po may lumalabas na maliit-liit na parang laway, okay? Next is vehicle. Okay, it can be food, it can be water. Next is contact. Anything na makawakan mo. Next is the portal of entry. Sabi ko kanina kung paano sa nag-exit, ganun din sa mag-e-enter sa katawan natin. Okay. The portal of entry, it can be a nose, it can be mouth, it can be cuts, it can be the eyes. The last part of the chain of infection is the susceptible host. Or the next sick person. Sino sila? Okay. Those who are most prone to be susceptible host are babies, children, elderly, people with weak immune system, unimmunized persons, and basically anyone. Basta mahina ang immune system mo, pwede kang tamaan ng kahit anong sakit. I will use coronavirus as an example dahil yan ang puso ngayon. The agent is coronavirus. The reservoir is Anne. Anne was exposed to an infected foreigner dahil kulang ng tulog si Anne. Panay po siyang kuya, kakakidrama at kakatiktok. Okay? Now, Anne was infected. Now, the portal of exit of Anne is her mouth. Ngayon po, uh, inubo siya. <coughs> so, the mode of transmission is droplets. Okay? May mga lumabas na maliit-liit na droplets. And ngayon, katabi ni Anne is her boyfriend, George. Okay? The portal of entry is George's mouth, nose, and eye. Okay? Kasi naubuhan eh. So, next, the susceptible host. Puyat na puyat daw ako. Sabi ko, hindi! Hindi ako puyat! Nagalaro ng Mobile Legends? George was easily infected. Now George is the only is the one spreading the virus with Anne. Okay, diba? His partner sila. And the chain continues. Now, in ending, gusto ko lang i-share ito. In John 8.32, it says there, Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. I have given so much truths about how medical professionals battle infection. Yes, it can prevent you from being infected. You can be free of COVID until the pandemic subsides, but it's not the kind of truth that can break bondage, that can break fear, that can break oppression, that can break depression, that removes luck, that kills those who are infected, that turns mourning into dancing. The greatest truth that you can have is that there is someone who died for you, who loves you, and who paid it all for you. Bayad kanal kapatid. Wala ka ng utang, wala ka ng atraso. For you to be set free. The reason na parang nakakulong tayo kahit na lockdown, ay di dahil nasa bahay lang tayo, hindi di rin dahil nagsasawa na tayo sa kapaligiran natin and dun sa apat na sulok ng bahay natin and dun sa katao sa bahay natin. But the reason we feel bound is because we don't know the truth. Kapatid, my first challenge was seek wisdom. The Word of God says the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. How can you then have wisdom if you don't know God? My simple challenge right now is this. Know the truth. There's nothing more true here on earth than God's Word. Basahin mo kanyang asimu. And you will see that you will be set. So tune in sa aking next segment. Pasensya na po kayo, medyo nakahaba. Uh, watch out for my top 10 on how to protect ourselves from any communicable disease, especially COVID-19. If you haven't seen my first part, what we already know, then click the link on top of the screen. And if you are full of worries, fears, anxieties, click the link on, on top of the video, what are we releasing in this midst of crisis? If you find this helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for future content and I'll see you on the next video. Live loud! Prepare the way, prepare the way of the Lord, prepare the way, prepare the way of the Lord.